Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. You have redirected records due to truncation or data conversion errors from some transformation such as data conversion or drive column. How will you find which column or columns created the error? How do you detect the name of the column? And uh, wh wh what exactly they are trying to ask you here? Because when you redirect the rows uh, from a drive column or data conversion transformation, uh, what happened? You would not know which column created the problem. So let's take an uh, example. In this case, what I'm doing here, I'm reading some records from the source, and then I have applied drive column transformation, and uh, I'm converting these uh, three columns. And uh, I, I can rename them or uh, use this replace whatever I want to do it is fine uh, it's not gonna hurt but what I'm doing here I'm converting them to worker 50 let's say in one of them uh, or two of them would not convert maybe maybe there is some uh, data that cannot be converted to worker or maybe if I'm converting uh, some values to integer that cannot be converted maybe there is a string value in one of the column so anyways uh, error is happening uh, and I have went to configure uh, error output and uh, I want to on error I do not want to fail the component I want to redirect them so I can select all of them and uh, apply a redirect row from here so press uh, control and then uh, uh, go to redirect apply and that's how you can select multiple columns uh, uh, and uh, redirect them on error or on truncation. So in this example, if uh, one of the column fails, let's say F name fail or last name fail or address fail, we would not know which exactly column created the problem. So you will know that okay, row will be redirected for sure, but uh, it will say okay, you have you would have error code, you will have error description, and you would have error. Uh, you will have error column in the error column you will have a number you will not have error column name actually it should be named so you can uh, you know know right away but uh, what SSIS provide it provide us uh, error uh, number inside the error column so what is error number when uh, it provides us error no uh, error column that has the value as a number that is a lineage ID for that column so for each of the column in each of the data flow there is a unique uh, lineage id attached to that uh, column so th th that 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 is provided to us uh, but we do not have a way to convert that lineage id to column name so uh, this is really uh, get complicated uh, i wish i mean it would um, ss uh, microsoft would have uh, provided the column name and it will make our life uh, much easy so we don't have a way to get the column name and tell which column created the problem so any of any any column out of these three can create a problem and we would not know the name of that column that created the problem so now how we can uh, fix that one one thing uh, as uh, each column has its uh, uh, own lineage id and if there are multiple data flow tasks and uh, uh, they uh, and the, the columns inside of uh, those uh, data fl flow tasks will have uh, may maybe they will have uh, same id so consider this one is a one data flow and one of the column is a uh, uh, first name and it has lineage id one in the other data flow that can have there would be a column that can have uh, the same lineage id but they are unique uh, as per task so in the data flow the, the data flow task name is different but the, the columns inside can have the same lineage id so what we can do here one thing uh, the lineage ids are saved inside the package and so we can use one thing uh, we can use a script uh, component uh, and we can read uh, that information uh, let, let, let's say we bring the data flow task here let me see if favorites data flow task here and then uh, what I can do here I can use uh, the script component so I will use a script component as a source uh, and then what I can do I can read uh, from the package uh, file uh, and then create uh, those uh, uh, information so I can create a uh, error uh, da data uh, task name I can create the column name and then I can have the lineage ID read from uh, the package file itself so that's one way to do it and then uh, I will save this information uh, 
in the let me see which transformation I can save so I don't have to write to any table or anything but in the memory so I can save this information in the cache transformation so this will be saved in the memory now what we will have we will read the package and get the task name column name and lineage ID so we can distinguish them by the task and then we have a column and then we have the lineage ID so once the information is read in the cache transformation what happened we come here and then inside here when we redirect the rows we can uh, use uh, we can we have to use the task name so in the lookup we'll be joining on the task name and then on the lineage ID and get the column name from them but this is kind of complicated you know if they would have provide us the error column here that would be great but if they didn't provide it so this is the way to go well, I have a complete package uh, created in the blog po uh, post and you can take a look step by step uh, but uh, just to summarize again if somebody asks you how you would uh, get the error column name in SSIS uh, so first of all you have to read uh, the package file to get the task name column name and lineage ID and load the data into the cache transformation then uh, further you will be using in different data flow tasks uh, and redirecting the rows uh, from the transformation such as drive column or data conversion and use the lookup uh, on uh, uh, the task name and uh, lineage id and get the error name from uh, error column name from there thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video